Of course it's more dangerous at night. The, the darkness makes people feel safe. Anyway, I'm just going to go make a cup of tea. <clears throat> ah, sorry about that. Look what alliteration did, the little bollocks. He stood, stood on my keyboard and hit the space bar. Yeah, so I tried getting that spot on my forehead. It's just not, not helping at all. Because it's just, I don't know. But I, I have tea, so it's good. And I've noticed the, um, the sun's actually started to come up. So, yeah. Looks like I'm pulling an ollie again. Oh, it should be all right soon. That makes me happy. Oh, God, my back hurts. Started a new exercise routine yesterday. It's one I've been meaning to start up for a while, but I've been kind of iffy in my tummy and stuff, and it's kind of heavily focused around the core. A lot of exercises that focus on the stomach, so I thought, you know, doing that whilst I feel queasy, probably not such a great idea. So I put it off for a little while. I finally started yesterday. And it's eight sets, eight different exercises uh, for a set even. It's supposed to be three sets of eight different exercises. Uh, you do each one for 30 seconds. I can't remember off the top of my head the exact um, uh, the exact routine. I, I've only just started it, so I have it written down to remind me. Um, anyway, I made it halfway through the first set. I was on press-ups, of all things, um, which I used to really suck at, but I'm now actually getting pretty good at it. I'll come back to that in a minute. But I made it to the press-ups bit, and I was starting to do the press-ups, and did a few of them, and then it was my legs. Of all things, it was my legs. My thighs decided that they just didn't want to support my body anymore, and I couldn't hold it, so I, I stopped halfway through the first set. Yeah. Fail. So... <clears throat> The way I'm supposed to do it is roughly three times a week. It's one of those, you know, high intensity, high gain sort of things. Um, but because I didn't do, I didn't do it properly yesterday. I did it again today. Thought, you know, I'll do better today. And I did the first. Uh, I mean, I, I did pause twice the first time around, but I also did the the exercise in the wrong order. So I did um, burpees and then press ups back to back which wasn't such a good idea because it put a lot more strain on my body than I thought it would on my upper body because, you know, I was supposed to do um, burpees and then uh, forward lunges, then the thingy my bob, watching my jig, um, the press-ups, so that it gives me a chance to, to take a break and stuff. Um, but I still made it anyway. I had to pause a couple of times, but I paused for a few seconds each time. I did that. I'm pretty sure for myself. And thought you know that that's my limit i'm not going to be able to manage anymore and then i went and sent a message to the dude i've been talking to who's been advising me on all this sort of stuff told him that I'd, i felt better for doing that and i was like you know what no i'm not happy with that so i went back and did it again i swapped the the burpees out for mountain climbers this time because i find them a lot easier although doing them for 30 seconds straight because i was doing them pretty fast i probably did about 50 mountain climbers in that time so i was doing a real fast <clears throat> So, um, yeah, anyway. Oh, there we go. This is the stuff I was told about. Yep. Uh, well, came about out of nowhere. I mean, it was kind of predictable in a way, but it did also kind of come out of nowhere. I see what she means now. One of my colleagues. Uh, turn around and walk away, you douche! Close the door! Uh, seriously! What the hell is wrong with you? <sighs> Pleb. But why did she, why was she so calm about it? She was just like, yeah, whatever. Oh, now she's blushing. Oh, yeah. Anyway, um, I was saying, yeah, I went and did the second one and finished it. I was like, you know what? I consider that a lot better. So I'm going to take a break today and I'm going to do it again tomorrow. Maybe. There's also the fact that I'm, um, 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 um,
probably shouldn't be doing it today anyway. I might do a different exercise set actually, my, my original one. Or maybe I'll do something, do, maybe I'll do something with the weights today, what do you think? Um, I don't know actually. Hmm, might do. Oh, there you go. Awkward. Well, he's sort of settled in, hasn't he? I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, real smooth, dude. My tea's too hot. I want to drink some. I'm hungry as well, actually. I kind of... Um... I want to eat something, but I don't know what to have. I might have some more toast, but I've already had loads of toast. Now I have a few slices of bread left, and I kind of want to save some. Oh, miso soup. I do like miso soup. Uh. Uh. I've only had it a couple times, but I do quite like it. Uh, not as much as I like minestrone soup. Which I know they do a completely different, but I do actually quite like minestrone soup. In fact, there was a song... Uh, from the 70s, I think? I remember hearing it when I was a kid anyway. Nobody I've, I've spoken to since has, uh, seems to have any idea what I'm talking about. But it was about minestrone. Life is a minestrone with parmesan and cheese. Uh, which gave me an idea when I heard that, actually. Because I was about 12, 11, 12 at the time. Maybe 13. I thought, you know what, that's a really great idea. So I got some cheese, put it in minestrone soup, and it was... Numb. It was numb. So numb. So, for, yeah, for those who don't know, minestrone soup with cheese is numb. But you know what's even more numb? Minestrone soup with some cheese dunked in it. Some little chunks of cheese. Yes, chunks of proper cheese. Not like some cream cheese or anything. Some proper cheese. D dunked into it so that they start to melt and stuff. And then a splash of Worcestershire sauce. Don't know what just Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauces, then you are missing out. Worcestershire, I can't say that word. Wushy sauce is so numb. You know, it, you know what else it goes really great with actually. It goes with um, great with uh, thingamajigs. What's that stuff called? We got to Shibuya this time. Um. Uh, uh, cheese on toast. Goes great with... Yeah, I guess it's not the, the boot centre then. Goes great with cheese on toast. You start making the cheese on toast. You make your toast as usual, obviously. Then, after you toast one side, you turn it over, you lightly toast the other side. So it's just start... Just starting to become toast. Then you butter it, put your cheese on it, put it back under the, um... Um... Uh, put it back under the grill. Wait for it to start melting. Well, that's cool. You wait for it to start melting, and then you um, um, uh, 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 what's that? That's the what's that word I'm looking for? Wait for it to start melting. Then you take it out. Then you put your your washy sauce on it. A nice liberal dosage of it. You want to be careful though. You want you don't want too much, but you do want quite a lot so that it really starts to sink in. Then you put it back under the, the grill for a few more minutes, let it properly bake in so that the, all the cheese on top is nice and crispy, and the uh, the washy sauce is all crispily baked into it. Kind of like a pizza, <clears throat> but it's just a thin, crispy layer over the top. But of course, you, you also you don't want to leave it in there for too long because the toast, will, the, the bread will get burned. Uh, 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 take it out and then you numb down and it is super numb and you know what's even better if you then get that and then dip that in some minestrone yeah it is super numb not comrade like huh? russian dog uh sorry uh uh yeah uh rocket dog that's the one i mean hey there was a game being made about her at the moment or has it been made already? Where she comes back 
<clears throat> survives re-entry and has to lead a revolt against Hitler or something because video games you know video games have it's just good of course dogs have loyalty it's one of the m most loyal animals on the planet I mean loyal to a fault I mean look how dogs react to their owner making the quotation mark gesture there by the way yeah you, you could go and you could get a dog and you could twat it round the face with a sledgehammer every day and it'll be okay and it'll be um, unflinchingly loyal to you it'll beat the crap out of everything else and like eat, eat, eat its face literally and then you know <clears throat> it'll stay loyal to the person that starts like they say you know the um, what's that word a whipped dog some sort of some saying about a whipped dog or a beaten dog or something I don't know <sighs> something like that anyway that is a very loyal doggy a woofage it's probably a made up story you know I'd, I'd I think it's unlikely that the doggy went there every day for 10 years, but maybe, you know, maybe it would, did happen, like, for a few days in, in a row or something. That's what I've always wondered. How do dogs tell the time? Dogs and cats? Because, I mean, my cats, they just have a good bowl. Their food bowl at the same time every day. And it's why I used to live with my father. And, um,. Well, I used to live in my father's house. He was with his missus at the time. And he had two cats. Um, and they'd wake me up at the same time. Every day. Without fail. Usually half an hour before I my alarm was set to go off. They'd always do it. Half an hour before my alarm was set to go off. Every single day. I don't know why they did it then. Because I knew that it wasn't until the alarm went off. That I'd get up and I'd feed them. But they'd do it every day. They'd come and wake me up and they'd look at me. They're like, come on. Come on, it's time to get up. Come on, get up now. It's time to get up. Get up. And I wouldn't. And then they, then as soon as the alarm went off, then they'd spring up right and they'd like they'd know. They'd, they'd look at the door, they'd look at me, they'd look at the door again, they'd watch me get up, and as soon as I as soon as I was up and I had my trousers on, they'd bolt for the door. Because um one of them used to sleep down by my um Down, uh, uh, down by my knees, the back of my knees. He'd curl up there because I was laying on my side and my knees bent. So he'd lay down there and he'd curl up there. And the other one would actually lay across the top of my head. Not on my head. Across the top of my head. Sort of curled across the top of my head. It was, so I'll tell you something, it was warm and cosy. A little bit too warm and cosy. It's too warm for me here at the moment. I, I clicked through that one too fast. <sighs> And, um, yeah, it's really warm here at the moment. I have a, a what do you have? I, a, a, I think it's a 12 tog. Yeah, I think it's a 12 tog. And the other one I have is a 10.5, which works right. I'm going to tell you something. This, this one is great to have during the winter, and I mean the really cold winters. It definitely keeps you warm. But during weather like this, it's not so good. It's, um... I mean, it's not like really hot here. It's it's around the sort of at the moment. It's around the seven or eight sort of mark it's Celsius, by the way, not um, not Fahrenheit. No, I'm sure it is in Fahrenheit. It's in the fifties, I think. Um, <laughs> he's been bumping into people because he's a douche. <laughs> The guy's a moron. It's just people. Do you not know how to cross a road amongst people? Seriously, I'm telling you, this guy's Amish or something. Because he's... I don't know. He's just a weirdo. You just sort of get used to it. I mean, I'm from Manchester. We have quite a lot of people here. I mean, it's not like a mega busy city, but I mean, we have over a million people in the city, and it is... The city itself is actually kind of small. You just, it's really not that big of a deal. Though I have noticed people from small areas, they just can't get the hang of it. it it's one of those things you just sort of intuit. It's, it's 
weird thing. Crowds are like this beast. With, they have this mind of their own. And you sort of look through them. And you see like the patterns. You see where the, the waves are going to break. It gave me an idea for a game, actually. Based solely around moving through crowds. It's just I have no idea. You know what? I'm going to have to get back in touch with back, back in touch with Bunny. Of course I get back in touch with Bunny. She's my girlfriend. I speak to her every day. I need to get back a touch base with her again about that. Because she started doing some game making stuff. And it was an idea for a game I had based around my, um, my novels. Which we're going to look at doing as a visual novel like this as it happens. But there's another one I want to make called Pathfinder. Which is based around... Which was inspired to me by navigating crowds in Manchester city centre. Okay. Um, I want to make that game, but I don't know how to program, but she's learning how to do it. So, perhaps she'll be the sweetheart she already is, and she'll make it for me. That would be absolutely awesome. Oh, that's sweet. That was actually really sweet of him. Oh, she's blushing now. Weird, at weird atmosphere. De de Defender, look, she's flattered. She's not used to taking compliments like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know what you really mean there, sweetheart. You just don't know how to handle it, do you? But seriously, come on. I've been, I've been talking to Bunny about this. How did he not know? That they were female. Did they not at one point say like, here's my sister? Ever? Nothing like that? Did they not ask for pictures? How was he supposed to identify them when they got there? I mean, you know, they obviously knew what he looked like. He must have sent them pictures. So didn't he ever think to ask for them in return? I mean, seriously? I, I don't, I don't know. Oh wow, they're holding hands, aren't they? Uh, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> yeah, good question. Oh, because he was enjoying it. So I see he's, they're leaning more towards him getting it on with the younger sister, huh? <sighs> Japan and its lollicons. Japan and its bleeding lollicons. And then the sudden shift of tone as they go into the um the more thoughtful introspective stuff like that it, like it just never happened yeah yeah whatever uh oh he, he's good huh how would she know if she doesn't know the english words i have no idea oh they're gonna be mages like all coming together and doing epic battle over it Nope. Nope, it is not. It's... Does she mean like a place of... Yeah, I thought so. It's like a holy place. Ah, oh, she means ley lines. Or a, a, a conjunction of lays, anyway. Freaking thing on my forehead is weeping again. It's ugh, Shinto gates. Uh, this is making me think. Actually, I don't know what I'm going to do next because my my weekend stuff is about to come to an end. Both of them are going to end at pretty much exactly the same time. 